I just, this just actually came in. My situation is that I live in the northern part of Pennsylvania and in the winter, uh, one of my vehicles is running front wheel drive and getting through the snow is very difficult. Now, I actually didn't purchase this because I thought it worked well. I actually purchased this because I believe that the price is, uh, I think it's about 30 or $40 for one of these and supposedly you only need one. And my, I think it's only one. Now. We'll confirm that when we open it. But the reason I actually bought it was because it was for, uh, a, they had a used version for a little over $5. So I really couldn't go wrong with just purchasing something for over $5. So, and if it works, it'd be great. Now the only problem is that it came in one specific size. Uh, this is size 62, which back here should tell me what size that is, but I didn't even bother where would it um, size 62 is right here. So 62 is right here. Okay. So that's the size I bought. And these are the different wheels. The inches are above. I took pictures of this and hopefully they come out well and you'll see them at the bottom. So 62 should cover all these size wheels as you can see. These are and I actually have no idea what my wheel size is. You know what? Give me a second. That's the size 215 65 R16. 215 65 R16. So 16 should be the size, the um, inches of the actual tire rim or the rim size or the tire uh, dimension from left to right or the rim size. Uh, I believe 215 is the size of the threading that moves from right to left on each side and 65 is should be the thickness of the tire so let's see if i bought the right one again five dollars i can't go wrong i'll try to fit it in even if it doesn't fit according to the chart i bought the wrong one the closest 16 inch is uh 215.50 r16 not 65. so i probably should have purchased uh let me see size 65 so that's I'm coming down to 16 inch and it's right there so it's 65 215 65 16 so that's the actual size. but I'm still gonna try it hopefully this will fit let's hope for the best I'm gonna try it on now it's summer it's July I'll try it on but I'll end the video in the winter it will be snowing I'll put it on and I'll show you the car driving to see if it drives well in the snow. So uh, it's supposed to give you grit. It's supposed to don't get stuck in don't get stuck this winter. That's what it says on it. So anything, I mean for five dollars I'll try it. And I'll finish off the video in the winter. Like I said it's July now. So I can't test it. Unless I had been in the last day. Oh, it comes with two. I thought it only came with one. I'm only going to put one on for now. But that's great that it comes with two of them. And that's the packaging. I'll leave it in my garage until uh, the winter comes. It's really good material. Wow seems strong. I'm hoping that it works. I really do hope it works. And again, it's going to be short from the, uh, the supposed to fit like this. But my tire is not going to fit that way. It's actually going to be taller. I hope I can get it wrapped around. It'll be off by a little bit. And hopefully that won't cause, that won't. I'm hoping that I actually don't lose this or comes off or anything like that. I'm, I'm hoping it does work. It's pretty nice. Very. Seems like very tough material. Uh, I guess these are the grip things. I don't know how this is supposed to be grippy. Maybe I don't see it visually. So this should be the inside. And 62.
That's pretty cool. It's really, really high quality material. Just the material alone, since I got two of them, I paid $2.60 for each. It was well worth it. It'll be great if it actually does work. Like I said, I'll have them set up and ready for the winter. I'll try it on the car now, just one, just to get an idea of how to put it on. Because I'm assuming I'm just gonna put it around the tire like this, and that's it. All right, so let's bring it outside, see how it looks. And then uh, I'm probably gonna have to end, like I said, I'm gonna end the video in the winter. I'm just gonna put one on and just drive around with just one real quick around the corner. This is, I just wanna make sure it doesn't fall off. Like I said, it's July, so it's the middle of summer, but I'm just curious to see if it'll fit or that, um, to see if it'll fall off. All right, now I gotta drive and get that, make that the bottom so that I could get the rest of it. stretch it out I soaked it in a bucket of water and then I hung what I did was I hung uh, I have my hook where I wrap my hose around on the side of the home so I put this on there sort of hooked it to that and then put about 20 pounds in here and left it overnight and I think it stretched it out enough. so let's try it out to see if it actually fits. Looks like I have to stretch it out even more. It's stretched out, but it's, it needs a little bit more. I might have to leave it out for a couple more days. Like I said, I wet it up, and then I put 20 pounds on it to weigh it down. All right, let's try it again. I'm ending the video here. I'm not get this to stretch far enough to fit on the vehicle that I actually needed it on. Don't even try it. Part of my title was going to be don't do this it's a good idea I was looking over the review since I spent such a long time looking at different ways of working with this I was reading some of the reviews and this does it looks like after and I, I can imagine it happens after certain because you have rubber wheels on your tires I mean you have tires you have rubber wheels tires on your wheel uh, on your wheels those wear you know you're on the road heat you know it's friction so this pretty much is a temporary solution to you know snow or slippery conditions and that's pretty much what i was using it for i use these wire type type of snow items it's basically a long wire tie 
and it has notches. It's really thick. It's orange. It has notches, and you tie them around the tire. You go around the wheel. You wire tie it one time use. So I usually use if I'm having problems getting up a hill, I use one of those, and those work fine. But once you finish your trip or getting over that hill, you shouldn't. I would. I don't drive with it at you know even 20 miles an hour. I, I get very nervous with that. So I'll just cut it off. It's usually getting to my home about a quarter mile before my home. There's a really, really steep hill. And when it's snowing and slippery, if I'm in my van that has only front wheel drive, I'll have the issue of getting over that hill. Now, that's why I was purchasing this. Maybe I could use it temporarily. You know, as a as a former as a former law enforcement, we used to we were required to put on the chains every time the weather called for it and it was a really messy job it was a dirty messy job and you'd get your uniform dirty and nasty i'd have to change sometimes because you get grease all over you and it's just really disgusting and dirty you are responsible for your own vehicle to get those on you could hire a guy to do it uh, but it's not authorized so you pretty much did it on your own so i thought this was going to be something like that i could temporarily use and it was going to be a little bit dirty wear gloves and maybe a jacket i didn't care much about but it looks like I'm not going to be using it at all. I can't get it on. I, sh I left, I'm going to say about 100 pounds of weight. So what I did was I hung this on my, at one end on my hose. Uh, I have a, a, an area where I wind up the hose. So I put the hose down and I put this over the hose holder on my wall. And then I put about 100 pounds worth of weight and uh, bricks and stuff like that to weigh it down. And it did stretch a little bit. But the biggest problem is the middle. The middle doesn't stretch. So it's a really good, I mean, you have to really beat this up like crazy. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that this didn't work for me. Like I told you earlier, I paid $5 for it. And that's what it is, is that it's, it's a $5 device. So, you know, I wanted to try it. I did not want to pay $50. I feel sorry for the people in the, uh, giving the reviews, the negative reviews about this, where these fell apart. So there's reviews and pictures on Amazon showing these frayed after a while. And it's true, they're gonna fray. It, it has to. I wouldn't keep it on for a long time, just when you need it, but you know, they do fray and they do wear after a while. And it is $50 you're fraying away, but they might actually save your life. So it's kind of, you have to balance the two. But it didn't work for me. So maybe I'm not supposed to use this, I don't know. So I'm telling you, for me, this is a nay. I don't, I don't like the product. Um, it's a good idea, but after reading the reviews, and I, since I wasn't able to test it, you know, I'm gonna take that back, that name. I don't know nothing about this product. It's gonna be more of a showing it to you, and I'm gonna give you my experience with it in the last eight months has been, I can't get this on my tire, to, I can't stretch it. Uh, something you should not do. Do not do what I did. You're gonna waste your time. Do not do what I did. But it was $5 and it was worth the trying. I mean, I just left it out there. It's not like I was wasting any time. I just. I think I tried to put it on my van anytime I, I remembered. So maybe about five times. So, you know, don't do this. They were $5, I tr like I said, and I'm, I tried it, but it didn't work for me. It's a great idea. Again, the only thing that I'm hesitant about is the reviews and this breaking apart and it costing $50 and have it fray away. So this is gonna be more of a look at. I hope it's helpful. I hope it gives you an idea. I think I gave you a close up look. It's pretty strong material. Nice, strong material, but it's not going to work for me. Maybe it will for you. I don't know. So I have really nothing to say about this product. I'm going to stay negative on I mean, neutral on it. And uh, if you're curious to see how it looks, you know, you saw how I was trying to put it on and everything. If that helps, great. I'm sorry that this video is kind of helpless. It doesn't really do anything except show you the item. So I hope that's enough. All right. Thank you for watching. Shark C60062 Classic Issue Snow Socks for Car and Traction, Size 62, November 17, 2020. Cost, $5. Purchased on Amazon's website. Better than chains, no driving vibration, no untangling, low clearance compatible and no risk of damage to car offers incredible traction in dangerous wintry conditions, easy to install various sizes fit cars from small to SUVs. See size chart image. Product to description. Size Size 62. Issue Shark Classic Snow Socks are used to increase traction in slippery, wintry roads. 
the entry-level snow sock installs easily on all sizes of tires in a large range from small cars to SUVs. The unique design is made of polyolefin and designed to be used at a maximum of 30 miles per hour on snowy or icy roads. The socks offer the traction of snow chains without the difficulty of installation of damage to the roads. Currently for use in any area where snow chains are prohibited. Product information. Size size 62. Technical details. Manufacturer Shark Industries. Part number C60062. Item weight 1.58 pounds. Product dimensions 14.75 by 8.5 by 3 inches. Item model number C60062. Is discontinued by manufacturer no. Size size 62. Material textile. Item package quantity 1. Batteries included? No.